Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how to add responsive controls to your component or element parameters. And it is super easy leveraging the is var parameter. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. As you guys have seen from some of the other videos, this is a card that we created where we have a div up top and controls on the bottom. And now for the sake of this example here, let's say that we wanna add a global border radius value for the border of this card. So we're gonna jump into our manage element here and go into our parameter values. Now, right under button URL, we'll go ahead and add a comma and we'll call this border radius. And we're just going to do a single value here. So we're going to call this type is size, comma, label is radius. And right off the bat, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. We've got this radius button where we can come in here and we could give this a border radius of 1M. Now, right now, that's not doing anything. So we need to wire this up. So we're going to jump into our primary tab where the card base is being controlled from. We're going to jump down to our border radius here. These are already linked together. We're going to jump into breakout mode using command option B. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to type double curly DC P for parameter colon. And then we're just going to say border radius just as we typed it in our parameters and now what you'll notice let's go ahead and just add a slight border on here just so we can kind of see this border radius taking place we'll make it black here and then we'll just jump into our overflows and set those two hidden so those are global changes we're making there now let's jump back over to our custom parameters here and you'll notice if we change this to three we get a nice rounded card. If we change this to five, it's even more rounded. But what if we wanted this card to be five M's like we have here on desktop sizes, but we want it to be zero M's on mobile sizes? Well, right now we can't really make any changes, but the solution is incredibly simple. If we jump into our custom parameters here and right after our label value, we add a comma, we add quotes and we say is var true. Now, you'll notice when I come over here to our radius button, it highlights on mouse hover. I can simply click on that, and I can say on tablet, I want it to be two M's, and then on mobile, I want it to be zero M's. And now, let's go ahead and close out our parameters here and take a close look at our card. On large breakpoints, we got our five M's. On smaller breakpoints, we still have five M's. On tablet breakpoints, it's gone to two M's. And on mobile breakpoints, it's gone to zero M's. And just like that, we've created responsive parameters with one simple parameter value. Now, as you can see, these responsive parameters are incredibly useful and they can be applied to any already responsive control on an element. So what do I mean by that? Well, you can pass these values in anything that already has responsive controls over here. So things like Z index, color, width, font size, so on and so forth. Where you can't use something like a responsive control is on things like statically output text in a button and things like that. But as you can see, responsive controls are super easy to bake directly in to your custom parameters. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.